Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. The points A, B, C, D and E lie on the circle. So we can see that A, B, C, D and E are on the circle. P, A, Q is a tangent to the circle at A. So tangent is a straight line which just touches the circle at one point and passes through. So we can see here that PAQ is a tangent and it touches the circle at one point at A. And they have given that EC is equal to EB. So EC, this side, is equal to EB, this side. And angle ECB is 80 degrees. So ECB is 80 degrees and angle ABE is given as 40 degrees. So they want us to find out the values of V, W, X, Y and Z. So all the missing letters in the given diagram needs to be found out. So all these are the angles. So we have to make use of the circle theorems over here and angle some property of a triangle wherever possible to solve the given example. So to start with I will be going with the triangle B, C and E because this is the triangle in which maximum information is given saying that the two sides are equal and an angle is also given. Now if two sides are equal in a triangle that is called as an isosceles triangle. So that makes the two angles over here that is 80 degrees and W as same. So we got the first angle for the W that is 80 degrees because EBC is an isosceles triangle. So let me write it down that is W we got it as 80 degrees. Now I will be looking at a cyclic quadrilateral so I can see that here A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now to solve this cyclic quadrilateral let us understand the theorem first. You can see that I have already drawn a circle and a quadrilateral within it. Now the theorem states that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. That is the opposite angles. For example, in this case angle A and angle C are opposite to each other. So the addition of these two angles will lead to 180 degrees. Similarly, angle B plus angle D which are the opposite angles, they add up to 180 degrees. So using this theorem, let us try to find out angle Z. So as you can see here, angle Z and this complete angle are opposite to each other, the complete angle B. So we can write here as angle B plus angle D, that is part of angle D, is equal to 180 degrees. And angle B is 40 degrees plus 80 degrees. So total angle is going to be 120 degrees. Plus, now angle D is the Z is equal to 180 degrees. So we can write now Z is equal to 180 minus 120 which gives the angle Z as 60 degrees. So we got the value of angle Z as well. So let me write over here, so angle Z is 60 degrees. So we have got now W and we have got now Z. Now let us try to find out the other angles. Now again we can see here there is a presence of another cyclic quadrilateral that is A, B, C, E and back to A. So this is again a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices of the quadrilateral are on the circle. So using the theorem again we can see that angle C which is 80 degrees is opposite to the angle A which is y degrees. So we can write here as angle C plus y degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So angle C is 80 plus we need to find y is equal to 180. So y is equal to 180 minus 80 
which gives us the y angle as 180 minus 80 is 100 degrees so we got the angle y also so let me write it over here angle y is 100 degrees so now we got w we got z and we got y now we are left with angle x and angle v so let us find out what are the values of these two now I can again find another cyclic quadrilateral over here that is B C D E and back to B this is also a cyclic quadrilateral now to find X this is the complete angle D which is opposite to the angle B which is 80 degrees so we can write angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem now angle B is W degrees which we got as 80 so we will write 80 degrees plus angle D can be written as X plus Z this is the total angle and X we do not know we need to find but Z angle we got it as 60 degrees so we will write here 60 degrees equal to 180 so x is going to be equal to 180 minus 80 plus 60 is 140 which we write over here so now we get the x as 40 degrees so we have also found out the value of x so I will write it over here this is 40 now there is one last letter to be found which is V now to solve this we have to use another circle theorem now the theorem is called as alternate segment theorem so you can see here that I have already drawn a circle and you can see there is a tangent PBQ which touches the circle at only point B now AB which is a chord makes an angle X with the tangent PBQ and the angle is made in this segment so that is the major segment so you can call it as major now the same chord makes an angle in the opposite segment that is the minor segment so you can see this is the angle made by AB in the opposite segment so if the angle made in the major segment between the chord and the tangent is x degree then the angle made by the same chord in the opposite segment is also going to be x degree so here if it is going to be 45 degrees for example then here also it's going to be 45 degrees so using this alternate segment theorem let's see if we can solve it for the letter V now as we can see here PAQ is a tangent and AE is a chord which is making an angle V with the tangent now the same chord is going to make an angle that is A D E and this angle D is in the opposite segment so AE is making an angle V in the minor segment over here and x degree which is 40 is the angle made in the major segment which is the alternate segment hence if this is going to be 40 degrees then letter V is also going to be equal to 40 degrees therefore by using the alternate segment theorem we can directly write that V is equal to 40 degrees so we have got all the angles over here starting with we got it as 40 using the alternate segment theorem and W we found it using the isosceles triangle property and X we got it by the cyclic quadrilateral so we got it as 40 degrees and cyclic quadrilateral theorem again used to find Y which is 100 degrees and Z angle was also found by cyclic quadrilateral theorem so which was 60 degrees I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. 
सो इफ यू आर लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग